Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Measles. Measles is a highly contagious infectious disease caused by the measles virus. Symptoms usually develop 10-12 days after exposure to an infected person and last 7-10 days. Initial symptoms typically include fever, often greater than 40 C, cough, runny nose, and inflamed eyes. Small white spots known as coplex spots may form inside the mouth two or three days after the start of symptoms. A red, flat rash which usually starts on the face and then spreads to the rest of the body typically begins three to five days after the start of symptoms. Complications occur in about 30% of cases and may include diarrhea, blindness, inflammation of the brain, and pneumonia, among others. Rubella, which is sometimes called German measles, and rosiella are different diseases caused by unrelated viruses. Measles is an airborne disease which spreads easily through the coughs and sneezes of infected people. It may also be spread through contact with saliva or nasal secretions. 9 out of 10 people who are not immune and share living space with an infected person will catch it. People are infectious to others from 4 days before to 4 days after the start of the rash. Most people do not get the disease more than once. Testing for the measles virus in suspected cases is important for public health efforts. The measles vaccine is effective at preventing the disease and is often delivered in combination with other vaccines. Vaccination has resulted in a 75% decrease in deaths from measles between 2000 and 2013, with about 85% of children worldwide being currently vaccinated. Once a person has become infected, no specific treatment is available, but supportive care may improve outcomes. This may include giving oral rehydration solution, healthy food, and medications to control the fever. Antibiotics may be used if a secondary bacterial infection such as pneumonia occurs. Vitamin supplementation is also recommended in the developing world. Measles affects about 20 million people a year, primarily in the developing areas of Africa and Asia. No other vaccine-preventable disease causes as many deaths. In 1980, 2.6 million people died of it, and in 1990, 545,000 died. By 2014, global vaccination programs had reduced the number of deaths from measles to 73,000. The risk of death among those infected is usually 0.2%, but may be up to 10% in people with malnutrition. Most of those who die from the infection are less than 5 years old. Measles is not believed to affect other animals. Before immunization in the United States, between 3 and 4 million cases occurred each year. As a result of widespread vaccination, the disease was eliminated from the Americas by 2016. Signs and Symptoms The classic signs and symptoms of measles include four-day fevers in the three C's, cough, coryza, and conjunctivitis along with fever and rashes. Fever is common and typically lasts for about one week. The fever seen with measles is often as high as 40 C. Coplex spots seen inside the mouth are pathognomonic for measles, but are temporary and therefore rarely seen. Recognizing these spots before a person reaches their maximum infectiousness can help physicians reduce the spread of the disease. The characteristic measles rash is classically described as a generalized red maculopapular rash that begins several days after the fever starts. It starts on the back of the ears and, after a few hours, spreads to the head and neck before spreading to cover most of the body often causing itching. The measles rash appears two to four days after the initial symptoms and lasts for up to eight days. The rash is said to stain, changing color from red to dark brown, before disappearing. Overall, the disease from infection with the measles virus usually resolves after about three weeks. Complications Complications with measles are relatively common, ranging from mild complications such as diarrhea to serious complications such as pneumonia, bronchitis, otitis media, acute brain inflammation, and corneal ulceration. Complications are usually more severe in adults who catch the virus. The death rate in the 1920s was around 30% for measles pneumonia. People that are at higher risk for complications are infants and children aged 20 years, pregnant women and people with compromised immune systems, such as from leukemia and HIV infection. Between 1987 and 2000, 
The case fatality rate across the United States was 3 measles attributable deaths per 1,000 cases, or 0.3%. In underdeveloped nations, with high rates of malnutrition and poor health care, fatality rates have been as high as 28%. In immunocompromised persons the fatality rate is approximately 30%. Risk factors for severe measles and its complications include malnutrition, underlying immunodeficiency, pregnancy, and vitamin A deficiency. Even in previously healthy children, measles can cause serious illness requiring hospitalization. One out of every 1,000 measles cases will develop acute encephalitis, which often results in permanent brain damage. One or two out of every 1,000 children who become infected with measles will die from respiratory and neurologic complications. Cause Measles is caused by the measles virus, a single-stranded, negative sense, enveloped RNA virus of the genus Morbillivirus within the family Paramyxoviridae. The virus was first isolated in 1954 by Nobel laureate John F. Enders and Thomas Peebles, who were careful to point out that the isolations were made from patients who had complex spots. Humans are the only natural hosts of the virus, and no other animal reservoirs are known to exist. This highly contagious virus is spread by coughing and sneezing via close personal contact or direct contact with secretions. Risk factors for measles virus infection include immunodeficiency caused by HIV or AIDS, immunosuppression following receipt of an organ or a stem cell transplant, alkylating agents, or corticosteroid therapy, regardless of immunization status. Travel to areas where measles is endemic, or contact with travelers to endemic areas. And the loss of passive, inherited antibodies before the age of routine immunization. Diagnosis Clinical diagnosis of measles requires a history of fever of at least three days, with at least one of the three C's. Observation of complex spots is also diagnostic of measles. Laboratory testing Alternatively, laboratory diagnosis of measles can be done with confirmation of positive measles IM antibodies or isolation of measles virus RNA from respiratory specimens. For people unable to have their blood drawn, Saliva can be collected for salivary measles specific IgA testing. Positive contact with other patients known to have measles adds strong epidemiological evidence to the diagnosis. Any contact with an infected person, including semen through sex, saliva, or mucus, can cause infection. Prevention Measles antibodies are transferred from mothers who have been vaccinated against measles or who have been previously infected with measles to their children while they are still in the womb. Such antibodies will usually give newborn infants some immunity against measles, but such antibodies are gradually lost over the course of the first six months of life. Infants under one year of age whose maternal anti-measles antibodies have disappeared become susceptible to infection with the measles virus. In developed countries, it is recommended that children be immunized against measles at 12 months, generally as part of a three-part MMR vaccine. The vaccine is generally not given before this age, because such infants respond inadequately to the vaccine due to an immature immune system. A second dose of the vaccine is usually given to children between the ages of 4 and 5, to increase rates of immunity. Vaccination rates have been high enough to make measles relatively uncommon. Adverse reactions to vaccination are rare, with fever and pain at the injection site being the most common. Life-threatening adverse reactions occur in less than 1 per million vaccinations 500,000 to sustain an epidemic, a situation that occurred in historic times following the growth of medieval European cities. Measles is an endemic disease, meaning it has been continually present in a community, and many people develop resistance. In populations not exposed to measles, exposure to the new disease can be devastating. In 1529, a measles outbreak in Cuba killed two-thirds of those natives who had previously survived smallpox. Two years later, measles was responsible for the deaths of half the population of Honduras, and it had ravaged Mexico, Central America, and the Inca civilization. Between roughly 1855 and 2005, measles has been estimated to have killed about 200 million people worldwide. Measles killed 20% of Hawaii's population in the 1850s. In 1875, measles killed over 40,000 Fijians, approximately one-third of the population. 
In the 19th century, the disease killed 50% of the Andamanese population. 7 to 8 million children are thought to have died from measles each year before the vaccine was introduced. In 1954, the virus causing the disease was isolated from a 13-year-old boy from the United States, David in Monston, and adapted and propagated on chick embryo tissue culture. To date, 21 strains of the measles virus have been identified. While at Merck, Morris Hilleman developed the first successful vaccine. Licensed vaccines to prevent the disease became available in 1963. An improved measles vaccine became available in 1968. Measles as an endemic disease was eliminated from the United States in 2000, but continues to be reintroduced by international travelers. Society and Culture German anti-vaccination campaigner and HIV-AIDS denialist Stefan Lanka posed a challenge on his website in 2011, offering a sum of €100,000 for anyone who could scientifically prove that measles is caused by a virus and determine the diameter of the virus. He posits that the illness is psychosomatic and that the measles virus does not exist. When provided with overwhelming scientific evidence from various medical studies by German physician David Bardens, Lanka did not accept the findings, forcing Bardens to appeal in court. The legal case ended with the ruling that Lanka was to pay the prize. The case received wide international coverage that prompted many to comment on it, including neurologist, well-known skeptic and science-based medicine advocate Stephen Novella, who called Lanka a crank, as multiple pieces of evidence rather than a single piece was provided, an appeal by Stefan Lanka was granted in 2016. Research In May 2015, the journal Science, published a report in which researchers found that the measles infection can leave a population at increased risk for mortality from other diseases for two to three years. A specific drug treatment for measles, ERDPO519 has shown promising results in animal studies, but has not yet been tested in humans. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?